Maintaining good flexibility is an essential part of life and it's very important to implement different stretches into our daily routines. The nice thing is stretching can be done anytime and anywhere. I like to set specific time on my daily schedule to help keep me accountable. Here are some head to toe stretches for you to perform every day. Remember, if any of these cause pain or discomfort, make the necessary adjustments. Before we get started, did you know that Silver Sneakers members can access live virtual workouts every day of the week? There are so many class and instructor options for you to choose from. The best part is that you can chat live with the instructors, all at no cost to you if you're eligible for a Silver Sneakers membership. To check out the schedule and sign up for classes, check the first link in the description box below after the workout. Let's start with the warm up. Just walk in place. Feel your strong abdominal muscles engaged. Feel your back nice and strong as well. Chest is lifted, shoulders are relaxed, back and down. Slow your walk down a little bit. Now remember, this is just a nice little warm up to get us going so we can dive into the stretches. Heels front, right, left. Draw your elbows straight back. We'll wake up our upper body a little bit too. Elbows come a little higher up. Elbows down. Now remember, you can perform this in a seated position if you'd like. Stay here. Elbows come up shoulder height. Feel your back warming up. Nice. And just come back to the walk. Come in front of your chair and gently lower your body all the way down to your chair. Walk in place. Slow down. Heels front. Elbows come up. Plant your feet, shoulder shrugs. Good. Shoulder rolls. Start to increase the range a little bit for your shoulders. Now try elbow rolls. Let's try right to left side. Nice. You're seated tall on your chair. Feet are firmly planted in the floor. Now reach to the sky, right arm first. Add a little twist as we reach across. Reach up again. Nice. Across your body. Shoulder shrugs. Nice. Shoulder rolls. Now elbow rolls. Increase the range a little bit. Try full arm circles, right to left. Nice. Oh, all the way around. Perfect. We're going to start really with the stretches from head to toe. If any of these feel uncomfortable, make sure you make the necessary adjustments. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Release your hands beside you and actually make sure your shoulders at the same height. Feel the stretch all along the left side of your neck. Beautiful. Now we're going to hold these stretches anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds. It depends how you feel. Core is still engaged. In fact, on this one, if you wanted to, you could relax your back in your chair. Nice. Now take your chin towards your right shoulder. Look down at your right shoulder. Ah, a little variation, a little different stretch. Still feeling this nice neck stretch that's happening. Now the key is to continue breathing. Avoid breath holding as we come into the stretches. And again, back off if it causes any pain or discomfort. Let's hold this for five more seconds. You can do it. Very nice. Now gently roll chin to chest and we'll hold here for a moment. Again, you should feel this really nice into your cervical spine, really from the base of your head all the way to the upper back. Keep your shoulder blades released back and down. Nice, keep nice steady breathing. Very nice, head returns to a neutral position. Now, lower left ear to left shoulder. We'll repeat everything on the left side. 
I like to just touch my shoulders and make sure they stay at the same level. Sometimes the tendency is to start to pick up your opposite shoulder. Feel the stretch all along the right side of your neck. Continue breathing. Nice, you're seated tall, you're feeling strong. Beautiful. Now, take your chin and try to touch your chin to your left shoulder. Ah, nice variation to the neck stretch. Feeling good. Feeling just a nice release of tension. In fact, on your next inhalation, go ahead, inhale. Now, as you exhale, focus your breathing to where you feel the majority of the stretch. Let's hold this for five more seconds. Beautiful. Chin gently rolls to chest. Stay here and we'll hold this neck stretch for one more moment. Now again, with any of these stretches, if you feel like, oh, I just don't have the time, holding them at least for 15 seconds is a good opportunity for you every day. Head returns to a nice neutral position. Roll your shoulder blades up, back, and down. And we'll go into moving our way from head to toe. Right arm reaches to the sky. Lengthen through your fingertips. Now, take your hand and touch your back. As you are in this stretch, where do you feel the majority? In your triceps muscles, right side? Good. Keep breathing. Now, if you can, allow your hand just to walk down your back a little bit more. The key is to avoid tensing up your shoulders. Keep your shoulder blades released back and down and continue breathing. We said about 30 to 60 seconds. 60 is a long time if you feel you could work your way up to this opportunity. Now, I want to add a little more, more complexity to the stretch. Tuck your left elbow in and start to laterally lean towards the left side of the room. Lift your elbow and now feel the intensity of the stretch entire right side of your body. Keep breathing. Beautiful. Relax your shoulder blades back and down. Head stays in nice alignment as well. Let's hold this for five more seconds. Keep breathing. Now with all your core strength, lift yourself upright, reach to the sky and relax your arm down. Very nice. Left hand reaches to the sky. We're repeating everything left side, correct? Take your hand, touch your back. Now this side may feel totally different. You may not have as much flexibility and that's okay. Feel the tricep stretch first. Sit tall, continue breathing. Now, are your shoulder blades relaxed back and down? Or do you feel that upper back starting to tense up? Keep the shoulder blades released back and down. Tuck your right elbow in. Support yourself as you laterally bend towards the right side of the room. This really will in increase the intensity of the stretch. Whole left side body. Keep breathing. That's the key. Sometimes when we hold stretches, we start to hold our breath. Let's hold this for five more. You can do it. Nice, steady breathing. Now draw your navel to your spine. Lift yourself upright. Reach your left hand to the sky and gently release down. Beautiful work. Next stretch is so important for opening our front body. Try chest expansion. Slide your hands back, your back towards the back part of your chair. You can do this standing if you'd like to, and that way you could just hold your hands behind your body. Once you come into the stretch, I want you to feel what's happening in your anterior deltoids, into your shoulders, and also all the way into your chest, your pectoral muscles. Hold right here and breathe. Now what's your back body doing? Wrap your shoulder blades around your spine. Continue breathing. I'm gonna turn just at a slight angle so you can see what this looks like from a side view. Holding on to the chair behind, shoulder blades wrapped around behind the back. Beautiful. Keep breathing. Nice, let's hold this for five more seconds. We've got it. 
One more nice deep breath, inhale. Exhale. And release. Next stretch, we're working our way down our body, is for our hamstrings. Right heel comes to the floor in front. Lift your toes to the sky. Now right away, think about movement from your hips as you hinge from your hips. Now I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see what this looks like. You stay right there. As you hinge forward, head stays in nice alignment with your shoulders down to your hips. You can hold on to the tops of your thighs, hinge a little deeper if you'd like. The idea is to feel the stretch behind your leg into your hamstrings. Now, you may even feel this into your gluteal muscles as well. Relax your shoulders back and down. And in fact, gently just move your head side to side. Nope, not gonna tense my neck today. Stay there, I'm gonna turn front view for you. Keep breathing. You can always draw both hands to the opposite thigh. Hinge a little deeper into the stretch. You know the drill. Five more seconds, you can do it. Nice. Glancing out on the floor, right out in front of your right foot. Core is engaged. Lift yourself upright and step your foot in. Same thing, left side. Let's try it. Left heel front. Grow tall as you inhale. As you exhale, hinge from your hips. Shoulder blades release back and down and hold the stretch for the left side. Again, I like to show you a side view so you can see what this looks like from a seated position. So it's a hip hinge forward, but my head just stays in nice alignment, just as if I were standing up. You can drop both hands to the top of the opposite thigh, hinge a little deeper and breathe. In fact, I'd like all of you, just roll your shoulders up, back, and down. Remind yourself to keep that upper back, release back and down, relax, and hold into the stretch. Not our breath though, right? Nice, even, continuous breathing. Stay there, turning towards you. Nice. We'll hold here for you know, yes, five more. Continue breathing, release your shoulder blades down and hold. Now draw your navel to your spine and lift yourself upright. Step your foot in. Last but not least, ankles. Go ahead and pick up right foot. Circle your right ankle. Now as you do this, if this becomes too difficult, you can always set your foot on the floor and trace the outer edges of your shoe along the floor. You decide what feels good to you. And when you're ready, reverse the circle. Nice. Seated still, nice and tall, and continuing breathing. You can slow this down or speed it up, whatever feels good to you. Now try flexion and extension. So just pointing your toes to the floor, lifting your toes to the sky. Toes down and toes up. What does that look like if my foot's down? Just lift your toes and then press all the way through your heels. So toe up and then lift your heel up. Do this a few more times each direction. Nice, release right foot down, tall spine, and when you're ready, go ahead and pick up your left foot. Start with those ankle circles, and you decide, does this feel good with your leg lifted, or do you just need to trace the outer edges of your shoes on the floor? Here, let's go a few more times. We wanna balance out, other direction, all the way through, nice ankle rotation, Think about all the things we need good ankle flexibility for. Walking, stair climbing, driving, hold steady, point and flex your foot. Nice, building the strength into our shins, maybe into our calf muscles as well. Keep going. You've got this, let's do four more each way. Release your foot to the floor. If you're comfortable, go ahead and just relax your back in the chair. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to check out the link at the end of this video to sign up for classes and, of course, check out that great schedule.